again, Grace Chatting here, and we come to uh, the, our lesson three in our Lesson in Love series, and the title of this one is uh, To Have Intimacy, Intimacy Needs Emotional Honesty. Now, it took me a long time to learn this. Well, I'm saying a long time. Actually, I see uh, hundreds, thousands of people uh, all the time who are not emotionally honest. They've never learned to be emotionally honest and they don't know how to be. And many of the couples that I see, they think because they talk to each other and they talk to each other a lot, that that it means they've got good communication and of course talking uh, is a form of communication but if they're constantly covering over how they really feel and what they really think and what they really need then it's not very good quality communication so as i say it took me a long time to learn this myself uh, like the majority of people i grew up um, covering over what I really thought and felt and needed and uh, wanted because I had learned and was conditioned to not ask for what I wanted. It wasn't deemed to be okay to ask for what you wanted as a child and so I was socialized to not ask for what I wanted. I was socialized to uh, not be expressive because the um, you know the people in the environment that I grew up in were people who just talked about what they thought and and they expressed opinions, um, but people didn't actually say how they felt. They might express anger in some way, but they they you know they weren't really. Uh, in, it wasn't conscious uh, emotional expression. So many of the people that I see also, they have the persona, like most of us develop, well, all of us develop a persona to present ourselves how we think others want us to be and that will be approved of and accepted. So the main point of this lesson is that until you become emotionally honest, you're not going to experience real intimacy and real heart-to-heart -heart closeness. Uh, with other people while you're being guarded while you're being wary while you're uh, dumbing down what you think how you feel what you want uh, and all of that and a real uh, passionate relationship uh, happens between two people who can be open-hearted open-minded can say this is what I think, this is what I believe, this is how I feel, this is what I need, this is what I want, but actually are prepared to listen to that from the other person as well and to have an exchange. And, you know, in the relationship, they look to see, uh, to understand what the other one thinks, feels, needs, wants, and, you know, all of that. Um, mostly people just put on a mask and act uh, and pretend. So it actually takes courage to be emotionally honest. Um, it takes courage to let down those defences and to let yourself be who you are. Now, many people want you to be strong all the time. And, that, you know, people used to say to me, oh, Grace, but you're so strong. And what they didn't know was that I actually felt really, really vulnerable. And I didn't always feel strong. I, I was a strong person. I had to get on and do what I needed to do. If you're the single parent of three children, you, there's a lot of things you have to get on and do. But I didn't always feel up to the task. I didn't always feel um, uh, as strong as I appeared to other people. And so when I stopped to think about it, well, I, you know, I'm so tired of everybody thinking I'm so strong and um, I could have done with help a lot of the time, but I didn't ask for help. And I didn't explain to people or show 
my vulnerability. So I realized that I wasn't actually being honest with people. I only ever showed my strength and I didn't allow people to see the vulnerable side of me. So, and you know, that's the stuff that victims are made of. People who um, only ever show the strong side, don't show their vulnerability, but resent it that other people don't see their vulnerability. So, it did t take courage, it takes courage to drop the defences and show um, your, yeah, how vulnerable you can be. But actually, that's when people actually understand you and get to know the real you, who's not a weak person, but who's a vulnerable person, but is also a strong person. You can be strong and vulnerable at the same time. You know, and most people think that if you're not being strong, then uh, you must be being weak. And that's not true. We're all strong. We can all be strong, but we can also be vulnerable as well. But the point is, if you want to have an intimate relationship, you need to be able to show your vulnerability and to overcome any fear you might have of the other people uh, that you're relating to overcome any fear you might have of them uh, disapproving of you. So, yep, it's overcoming that fear of disapproval on fear of being judged, fear of being wed up and find wanting. Now, actually, there's a cultural aspect to this. And um, often people uh, in some cultures, and I would say in the UK is one of them, where um, we have what I would describe as the tyranny of nice. People expect people to behave nicely and don't say anything that somebody might uh, not like or they might disapprove of or they might feel upset or hurt about. Now that is taking responsibility for them. If I am honest and I'm uh, not being um, cruel or unkind, but I'm being speaking my truth, I'm not responsible for other people's reaction. Um, sometimes I'm disappointed in other people's reaction um, because I, I like people to like me. Everybody likes people to like them. But sometimes uh, people won't like you. And you, do you know what? You won't die of it. So in a relationship, you're not responsible for your partner's uh, reaction to what you say, providing you're not being cruel and nasty and unkind. Uh, you know, you can say things in a straightforward manner. So there, the lesson is, if you really long for a heart-to-heart -heart relationship, if you long for... Um, real emotional intimacy, then you need to be prepared to put your defences down, take the risk of being disapproved of, um, and, you know, just speak your truth. And you can speak it nicely. You don't have to rant and rave and get angry. You can be respectful and um, say what you want, what you need, what you think, how you feel and be expressive and honestly you will feel so much better i hope you find that useful and i look forward to seeing you in lesson four bye for now